highlight a couple of things that are unique about the book, and there's more than just a couple, but the two that jump to my mind are first the experimental approach. Um, trying to show students how to think like a scientist and how scientists carry out experiments to come to the conclusions they do. Um, so we've done that in a couple of different ways. One is every paper has a mini pa every chapter, sorry, has a mini paper in it. Um, and the mini papers are sort of paraphrased, condensed versions of actual research papers. And so we walk students through, you know, what the current information was, what the scientists wanted to find out, what their hypothesis was, the experiment they conducted, the results they got, and how to interpret those results. So we actually give them the raw data um, that the experimenters found and then how they came up with that final conclusion. So they're small inserts into the textbook, but they're sort of a window into that scientific method of how science is really done and kind of what it looks like. The way we've integrated what we call the three pillars of microbiology. So that's genetics, physiology, and ecology. And the pieces of information that we present to students around microbes, we always try to frame it within those three contexts. So for example, genetics would be, you know, the suite of genes that these organisms carry and how that um, gives them the metabolic structural abilities that then allows them to live in the environment, the niche in which they do, and carry out the roles that they do. So it all comes back to, you know, the suite of genes that they have, and that's probably why microbiologists often get so focused in research around genomics and isolating genes and describing genes and doing all kinds of gene analysis and moving genes around, etc. because microbes really are functions of, of their genes. And the ecology comes into that by those genes really allow them to relate to other organisms, including other microbes, um, through their metabolic byproducts and, and functions.